Hi, in this video I am going to explain journal. Journal is a book of primary entry or original entry. All transactions are initially recorded in the journal. Let me explain with an example. Just see the problem. Purchased goods for cash. When you purchase goods, what goes out? Cash goes out, goods comes in. So what is the entry for this transaction? For any entry, for any transaction, you need to have a thorough knowledge about debit and credit. Then only you can make entries in the journal book. So for the first transaction entry is purchase account data to cash. First January 2000 purchase goods. Purchase account data to cash. How much? 10,000 rupees. Journal means you have to enter the transaction both debit side as well as credit side. So based on the golden rule, you know very well about the three rules, no? Real account, nominal account and personal account. According to the golden rule only, you can make entry in the debit side as well as credit side. While you purchase any item, any goods, whether it is a goods or stationery or any asset, whatever it is, when you purchase any item, that goods comes in, when you purchase cash goes out. So cash is a real account, no? So what is the golden rule for a real account? Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. When you purchase something, cash goes out, no? So enter credit side. What comes in? Goods comes in, in the way of purchase. So debit purchase, credit cash. For each and every journal entry, you have to write narration. So narration should be start with being. Being, purchase, purchased goods for cash. Narration is nothing but it is the details about the transaction. Every journal entry is accompanied by a narration which explains the details of the transactions which the entry is written. So this is very very essential for each and every entry you need to write the transaction details or it is called as a narration. So first entry is over. What is the second transaction? Purchase stationery for cash. Same thing. In the previous entry, they, have, they didn't mention anything. They mentioned just purchase goods. But in this end transaction, they have clearly mentioned that purchase stationery. When you purchase stationery, what comes in? Stationery comes in. What goes out? Cash goes out. Okay. Just write the entry. 2nd January 2000 stationery account data to cash how much 500 rupees again you have to write narration being purchase stationery for cash then third entry purchase furniture for cash same thing here they mention furniture they have purchased furniture for cash so when you purchase furniture what comes in furniture comes comes in cash goes out on 3rd january 2000 furniture account data to cash account how much 2000 rupees then fourth transaction sold goods for cash that is uh, you have sold some items for cash sales can be in two bases one is cash basis another one is credit basis if they mention any name without cash it is considered as a credit sales but here they didn't mention any name they have clearly given that sold goods for cash so it is a cash sales that is based on cash so by the entry what is the entry for this Cash account data to sales. Again you have to write narration. Being sold goods for cash. How much? 1 lakh rupees. On 4th January 2000. Next entry. 
sold goods to James. Just see the difference. The previous entry is sold goods for cash. They didn't mention name. So it is considered as a cash sales. But in this transaction, they have mentioned the name. They didn't mention about the cash. Sold goods to James. It means it is a credit sales. They have sold some items to James. So he, he is a debtor. Okay. Your amount is there. So you are going to get amount from James. Till you receive amount from James, he is a debtor for the company. Sold goods to James. So what is the entry? Same thing only. But instead of cash, you have to write the customer name. That is, debtor name should be mentioned in the transaction. So sold goods to James. Entry is James account data to sales. Just compare with the previous transaction, previous entry. Cash account data to sales since it is a cash sales. But this is a credit sales. No. Instead of cash, you have to write the name of the customer. James account data to sales 4000 rupees. On 5th January 2000. Again, you have to write the narration. Being sold goods to James. Then... On 6th January 2000, paid rent. Rent is an expense, no? Any expense, it's a nominal account. What is the rule for nominal account? Debit all expenses and losses. Credit all incomes and gains. So when you pay rent, it is an expense. So nominal account rule is debit all expense. So enter this item under debit. Rent account data to cash when you make any payment what will happen cash goes out for rent so rent is an expense so debit expense cash goes out so credit cash how much 800 rupees then last entry on 7th january 2000 paid salary of rupees 8000 same thing only in the just like a previous transaction then it is a rent but here salary so salary also it's an expense for the business for the concern so any expense it's a nominal account what is the nominal account rule debit all expense so write debit salary account data to cash so when you pay salary to your employee what goes out Cash goes out. So cash is a real account. What is the rule for cash real account? Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. When you pay salary, cash goes out. So credit salary, 8000 rupees. Uh, ledger is the second important stage in the accounting cycle or accounting process. In this stage of accounting cycle, all recorded business transactions or entries or group on a predetermined basis. Such classifications or grouping takes the form of accounts in a separate books known as ledger. Let us see the previous problem. First entry is purchase account data to cash. So in order to group or make ledger, you need to prepare first book that is purchase account and second one cash account so in order to enter purchase you need to have purchase account as well as cash account next entry stationary account data to cash for that you need to have stationary account and cash account cash account already is there no again you need not open and come to the third transaction furniture account data to cash so already we didn't have any furniture account so you need to open furniture account and then cash cash already is there again you need not open then next entry cash account data to sales cash is already there sales sales is a new book then next entry james account data to sales so you need to have a separate ledger for james sales already there so need not open again then rent account data to cash no rent you need to have a separate account cash already is there then last entry salary cash is already there so in order to make grouping or in order to prepare ledger you need to have a 
eight ledger books separately so that you can make entry in the ledger book. So it is a very very important step. So the first step in accounting process is journal. Journal means recording all the transaction whether it is a small transaction or big transaction whatever may be the value you need to technically write and record all the transaction in your books of accounts in this format. First line is debit, second line is called credit balance and after making all the transaction in a proper manner and second important step is ledger. Ledger is nothing but separate book for each and every transaction you need to have a separate account so that you can make entry in the particular book in order to calculate and know the total transaction which is related to that particular topic. So let us see the same problem purchase account. So first one is purchase account. Debit side, credit side. Second one, cash account. Debit side, credit side. Third one, stationary account. Debit side, credit side. Next one, furniture account. Debit side, credit side. Next one, sales. Sales account. Debit side, credit side. Next one, James. Debit side, credit side. Next one, rent account. Debit side, credit side. Then last one, salary account. Debit side, credit side. Just listen carefully how I am going to make entries in the ledger book. See the first transaction. Purchase account data to cash. You have to enter this transaction in both the accounts because we have purchase account as well as cash account. No. So you have to make entry in the purchase account as well as cash account. Just see this. Purchase account data to cash. Come to purchase account. Enter cash. To cash. 10,000. So you have entered cash under purchase account. No. In the same way, you have to enter purchase in cash account opposite side. By purchase. 10,000. Okay. So first transaction is over. Purchase account data to cash. No. In purchase account, we have entered cash. In cash account, we have entered purchase in vice versa. Then come to the second transaction. Stationary account data to cash. Enter cash under stationary account and enter stationary under cash account. Let us see the first one. Stationary account data to cash. No. Come to stationary account. Here stationary account. Under stationary account enter cash to cash. 500. Under cash account enter stationary. Vice versa. By stationary. How much? 500. Then, third transaction. Furniture account data to cash. Under furniture account, you have to enter cash. Under cash account, you have to enter furniture. First furniture account. Under furniture account, to cash. Debit side, to cash. 2000. And under for cash account, opposite side. Buy furniture, 2000 rupees. Next step. Next journal entry, cash account data to sales. So enter sales under cash book and enter cash under sales book. So first enter the sales under cash book. Cash account data to sales, no. Cash account data to sales. Debit side, 1 lakh. Now next, sales account. 
sales account opposite side by cash 1 lakh then james account data to sales enter sales under james account and enter james under sales account come to james account enter two sales how much 4000 rupees and you have to enter the same thing under sales under sales account by james Then rent account data to cash. So you have to record cash under rent account and you have to record rent under cash account. First rent account data to cash now come to rent account debit side to cash 800 rupees and under cash account by rent 800 rupees. Then last journal entry salary account data to cash so you have to record cash under salary account and you have to record salary under cash account so first salary account data to cash come to salary account debit side to cash 8000 and under cash account by salary 8000 so all transaction all journal entries are posted in ledger okay now you have to balance each and every account separately both debit side as well as credit side you have to balance you will get either debit balance or credit balance okay according to the balance you, you may get either debit side or credit side let us see this problem so the purchase account just close the purchase account debit side 10,000 rupees credit side no amount so enter by balance carry down 10,000 this is debit balance because debit side is more than credit side okay so this amount is called debit balance so the first balance will be written like this balance CD CD means carry down and after finding this balance carried on, you have to transfer this amount opposite side. Next, debit side to balance brought down 10,000. I told you no, you may get either debit balance or credit balance. In purchase account, in debit side you have got 10,000 rupees but credit side no amount. So debit side is more than the credit side. So you have got some balance under right hand side so this balance will be called as debit balance okay so this will be written like this balance carried on and you need to transfer this amount opposite side debit side to balance brought down 10,000 rupees in the same way you need to balance and close each and every account separately both debit side as well as credit side now come to cash account cash account Debit side, 1 lakh rupee. Enter the same amount under credit side also. 1 lakh rupee. And take the total and you will uh, you'll get some balancing figure. Here 78,700 balancing because debit side is more than the credit side. Okay, this is a receipt. This is a payment. Out of the receipt, by way of sales, you have received 1 lakh rupee. Out of this receipt, you have made all the payments. Okay, receipt minus payment is equal to closing balance. By balance, carry down. This is debit balance. So, you have to transfer this amount opposite side. To balance, brought down 78,700. Next, in the same way, you have to open each and every account separately. Stationary account. Debit side 500, credit side no amount. So, buy balance, carry down 500. Now, we will get 500. Transfer this amount to next opposite side. To balance, brought down 500. Furniture account 2000. Credit side no amount. Just write 2000 the same amount and write by balance carry down 
and transfer this amount opposite side to balance brought down 2000 in the same way sales also 1 lakh 4000 1 lakh 4000 1 lakh 4000 to balance carry down enter this amount opposite side by balance brought down 1 lakh 4000 then james account 4000 credit side no amount so by balance carry down 4000 opposite side to balance brought down 4000 then rent account 800 800 by balance carry down 800 opposite side to balance brought down 800 debit side 8000 credit side no amount so by balance carry down 8000 opposite side debit side to balance brought down 8000 okay now you have closed all the account now you you have either debit balance or credit balance according to the transaction you have got some balance so purchase accounts always you will have debit balance because purchase cash account here you have got debit balance stationary account you have got debit balance furniture account you have got debit balance sales account you have got credit balance because sales is a revenue revenue means credit James he is a debtor so debit balance rent is a expense so debit balance salary is a expense so you have got debit balance trial balance is the third important step first one is journal journal is nothing but where we used to record all the business transaction in a systematic manner after making all the transaction in the journal the second important step is ledger that is grouping and classifying all the similar transaction in a separate form and after preparing the ledger the third step is called trial balance trial balance is not an account just summarizing all the accounts in a separate column is called trial balance so just see the first one purchase account so purchase account should be recorded in trial balance so serial number one purchase account second one cash account third account stationary account fourth one furniture account Fifth one, sales account. Sixth one, James account. Seventh one, rent account. Eighth one, salary account. Okay. Now just see, in purchase account, you have got debit balance. So purchase is always debit balance. So enter that amount under debit column 10,000 rupees then cash in cash column this is a receipt side this is a payment side so in cash column you will always have debit balance because you are going to make payment out of receipt so always receipt will be higher than the payment so here you have got debit balance so enter that amount under debit column 78,700 then third uh, entry is stationary account. In stationary account, you have got debit balance 500 rupees. Stationary account, debit side 500. Then furniture account. Furniture also it's an asset. Any asset is a debit balance. To balance brought down on debit side. So furniture account 2000 debit balance. Sales. Sales it's a revenue. Revenue means income. Income always credit balance. Right hand side credit balance. You have got credit balance one lakh four thousand. So sales enter that amount under credit side 
1 lakh 4000 then james account james account he is a debtor because we have sold goods to james we didn't receive any cash we are going to get amount from james so he is a debtor debtor means debit side he is a, it is a asset james account enter that amount under debit side then a rent account so rent account also it is a nominal account rent is a expense any expense it's a nominal account so debit balance debit all expenses credit all incomes and gain when you pay rent it is a expense so debit side rent account debit balance the next one salary salary is a major expense for any organization when you pay salary cash goes out it is a expense so expense means nominal account what is the rule for nominal account debit all expenses so salary is expense no debit balance salary account debit side 8000 so all these items are recorded debit side and sales recorded under credit side because sales is the only revenue according to this problem purchase cash balance stationery furniture debtor rent salary these are the debit balance so after entering all these things you have to take the total in trial balance trial balance means both debit and credit must be equal you will get the equal amount in both the debit side as well as credit side if you get any shortage or any um, deficit or surplus amount will be there means uh, you have done some mistakes in making journal or at the time of posting ledger but basically if you didn't do any mistakes means you will get the equal amount both debit side as well as credit side so credit side is how much one lakh 4000 enter that amount and debit so just take the total 10000 plus 78 700 plus 500 plus 2000 plus 4000 plus 800 plus 8000 how much 1 lakh 4000 trial balance always get equal amount